What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Kraken Packs MTG. Today, we finally have Ravnica Remastered. This is a collector booster box, and this is for my Facebook group member, Scott N. We really appreciate you uh, sponsoring the box, and uh, we're going to open this, see how many Shocklands we can find, and maybe, if we're, these things are really in there, if we're lucky, get a uh, serialized card. But uh, let's quit beating around the bush and, and get into this. So these are Japanese printed, so there is a bit of a pull tab there. So that's a nice little way to get into the pack. If you guys haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you would uh, like the video, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Ho, oh, uh, we're doing some giveaways here, and we'll be giving away a booster box of Ravnica Remastered. And uh, that's the only way to get in on that. So uh, right out of the gate, a Retro Foil Hallowed Fountain, Massacre Girl. Tolls Mirror, the OG one. I actually used to really, really like this card. Kaya downshifted the rare. She was a mythic in Ravnica Allegiance, right? I think so. Guildgate's call. So do we only get... I'm going to assume that looks like four hits. Skewer the Critics. Overwhelm. Damn Breaker. Krenko's Command, Dogpile, and the Rogue. So it being... A Japanese pack, the rares are going to be in the front. I know a lot of people don't like that because it uh, it kind of kills the suspense. And um, But it's fine. It works. The rares are in there. Looks like we get four hits, maybe five, depending on uh, depending on what slots are there. I'm, I'm probably not going to use the pull tab. It doesn't, it doesn't feel good unless I absolutely have to. Let's see if we can open it from the... Uh, yeah, we can open it like this. The pull tab feels bad on these because the, the wrapper's so thick. Oh my goodness, is that what I think it is? Niv Mizzet Perun Anime Foil. Sheesh. The hits out of the gate. Spark Double Anime. Lazav shifted down the rare. And Void Slime. I guess he probably had to downshift a lot of the rarity on these uh, to keep the set being just absolutely loaded with Mythics. Or at least, at least that's what I'm going to tell myself. Moldervine Cloak. If you never played original Ravnus, Ravnica City of Guilds Draft Limited, Moldervine Cloak was an absolute powerhouse back then. Scab Clan Mauler. Vapors and the Rats. So, uh, oh my goodness. Take it easy. Yeah, the, the, the cloak was so good back in the... Even, it, I think it even saw a little bit of uh, standard play back then. Back when uh, standard was a real format. So two packs so far, you know, pretty decent. I know, I know the uh, the jury's still out on this set. Um, we'll see, we'll see how we feel about it. All right, next pack. This is gonna be pack three for Scott. Karn's Bash in Retro Foil. I dig it. I dig it. Tomek Distinguished Advocate. Pine Needle. Knife Concoct. <clears throat> and of course, this being a uh, Japanese printed set, the card stock is very nice. Has a subtle foiling. Um, you may or may not care for that. I like it. A, the, the reason I care for it is the, uh, the card stock doesn't get as pringly. I don't know why that is, what the difference in the process of foiling the card is, but uh, stays a little flatter, especially if you leave them out. We're going to put this here. This is gonna be this is gonna be the Shockland pile, so we're gonna reserve it for the for the Shockies. We start off strong. We need to we need to get in some more. These are incredibly hard to open because um, I do not want to use that pull tab because I feel like it's gonna ding. The, yeah, it's, it feels bad. It feels bad. I guess if you just make sure the cards are shook down to the bottom, it's fine. But uh, yeah, be careful if you're gonna use the tab. Illusionist bracers. Breeding pool, shocking number two. Repeat of the bracers. Aurelia Exemplar of Justice. See, they left her at, uh, at the mythic slot there. Condemn. Muddle the mixture. This card was a very expensive common until this uh, set came out. Orzov Signet with the Enforcer. Boros Guildgate. Sun Home Stalwart. Two petitioners in one. If you, if you were needing. If you're needing your play set of partitioners, which would be a lot, I think this is going to be your opportunity to pick those up relatively cheap. Getting two in one pack there, our second Shockland, and moving on 
to pack number, this will be pack number five. Like I said, you gotta have to be in the, careful, careful with that corner pull there. It just kind of, kind of lets you get into the pack. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Divine Visitation. What a beautiful card. Wow. Sheesh. Sabra, Queen of the Golgari, to back it up. We have the Cyclops. Expansion Explosion. If you never played against the uh, the Wilder Wilder Wilderness Reclamation deck that had that in it, that just, you thought you were going to win, and then all of a sudden you lost at the end of your turn. That, that that was the worst feeling. Putrefy, Burn Bright, and Blind Hunter. So two anime cards in that one. One thing I wish they would have done is at least given us confetti foiling on these as like a one per case hit or maybe gave, give us a new, like the, like the cracked ice foiling that they did for the Jurassic Park stamp cards just did it all over because that's a popular foiling in the anime card game world. And they could have, I feel like it had transferred over nicely to these cards. Um, you know, just one or two per case. Add a little extra chase to it. I mean, having having multiple chase cards in a set uh, makes it successful. Uh, proven by Ixalan, the last Ixalan set. Just having all those chase cards, people love to open it. Retro Tolsmere. Watery Grave, that's our third shocky. Sphinx's Revelation at Rare. What? And if you guys are like, this guy doesn't know anything, it's because I don't look at spoilers. You know, there's some stuff that's unavoidable, but for the most part, I don't check them out. Oh! Is that... What is... What the... Do we have a... Something's not right, right? Maybe... Where did... Where did... An extra... Maybe I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch that. I feel like that was in the wrong slot. Um, or is there, or is there an opportunity to get that in the land slot in the packs? You can get a guild gate or a shock land, maybe? Maybe that's what that is. Maybe that's why I'm so thrown off. We'll, we'll check the next pack. But, uh, okay. Sacred family. I'll need to recheck the stack to make sure I didn't, uh, mistake a, a guild gate or a shock land or something. Interesting. All right. Surprise shock land. We'll take it. Guardian Project is now a mythic. This is one of my biggest specs of all time. There's a point where you're able to pick this card up for around a quarter. And uh, boy, oh boy, did it shoot up in value. Retro Foil Project, nice hit there. Domri, Jimmy, if you're watching, this is for you, brother. Steve Vince. So many Shocklands. Spark Double, okay. Coiling Oracle, Thrilled Mystic. Okay, I think that's what that is. We have that shock land there, so you must have an opportunity to get a shock land in the guild gate slot. Or at least that's what I'm gonna tell myself until we figure out otherwise, but that, that feels about right. Um, you know, I think these packs are actually pretty pretty solid. The only, the only issue I see with this set is no doubling season and no smothering tithe. And I understand why they didn't didn't put it in this set because they were just printed what twice last year but it feels it feels bad not having it in Ravnica that's two of the most iconic cards from one of the best sets planes whatever you want to call it Ravnica City of Guilds is my favorite set ever so if you were wondering that's it we got a ghost way Fibble Thip the Lost, he's adorable. I love him. I want to take him home. Pack Rat. Quasi Duplicate. Demir Guildgate. Another Guildgate. Another Guildgate. Golgari Thug. Devouring Lights. Dredge Beetle. Force Landing, Sky Knight Legionnaire. And a Makeshift Battalion. So the average shock lands I've been seeing these, it, it ranges anywhere like the, the other people I've talked to, seen and heard open these. Um, we're, you know, we're probably looking six, seven or more shock lands in a box. Hoping for more, of course, but uh, six or seven seems pretty solid. Let's see, ooh, there it is. Borderless foil steam vents. Wow. Karlov, Ghost Council. 
Mind Leech Mass, Lazav, Is It Charm, Grazer. Yeah, that's what it has to be. You have to, there's a, there's a, there's a, uh, there's a chance. I had, to, I had to look at that art twice. I was like, what is that? Um, there's a chance in that, in that land slot to get another, another shock land. So potential fifth hit per pack. I know I'm kind of beating that into the ground, but it's got me, got me messed up. Life from the Loam, Retro Foil, sheesh. Crypt Ghast, loving that. Mizzix Mastery. Split card, totally lost. Drake, Guild Gates. Huzzah, Demon Fire, Uncommon, what? This was such an iconic spell back in the day. It's a blaze that can't be countered if you're hellbent. Um, what an uncommon Terramander, always good, Drift Phantasms for your transmuting needs. Mortis Strider, Waltz Skewer. I'm so, the, the shifting of some of the rarities in here has me, uh, has me a bit, bit shocked, but, you know. Bane Fired Uncommon feels crazy, though. Just saying, especially if you draft this set. Tajik, Legion's Edge, Overgrown Tomb, Spark Double, Retro, Blind Obedience, Retro Light Up the Stage. This, this spell was a problem back when Mono Red was running rampant. So we got a Chromatic Lantern. What, what is this slot? Is this the, it's three, four, it's the fourth slot after the rare. What is this? That, that Quicken was a rare that further muddles the mixture. And that's, uh, that's on flavor for what we're doing here. So, the fourth slot after... Huh. Interesting. It may be like a Ravnica-specific Ravnica card. You know, I feel, like, I feel like they should... This is my two cents. They should have definitely done Commander decks for this. Because you, could you imagine the insane Commander decks they could have put together? Um, with, with all the good lands... That's available. <laughs> Missed opportunity. The one set that we really, really could have used some cool commanders with, they're like, no, nah, we're going to pass. You get draft and collector boosters, guys. Last pack here for Scott. Pretty good box so far, I'd say. Retro Mizzix Mastery. Krenko Mob Boss. Dreadbore. Fido Hydra. All right, so it's it was four cards. One, two, three. It's this slot, whatever that is. Light up the stage, muddle the mixture, blade brand, helium squirter, whisper agent, and totally lost. So let's count up the shock lands we have here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. About on par with what I've heard and seen. Um, solid box overall, I'd say. You guys let me know what you think about this set in the comments. I'm I'm curious to see. Um and, and let's leave let's leave price point out of the equation. Let's just overall flavor uh and the way the set was constructed and put together let me know what you think don't 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 let the the price sway your decision even though i know that's probably the biggest thing but uh just just overall let me know what you think about the set and again if you're subscribed leaving me comments liking the videos i'm gonna select a winner randomly from one of the videos to get a ravnica booster box and uh that's all i got guys thank you for joining me and we'll see you in the next one